Morning, everybody. This is Doug Pinter on Daily Energy. We have our friend Ashley from Epic in the house. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, guys. How are we doing today? Wonderful. Doing real good on this Wednesday, the 18th. Uh, appreciate you carving some time out to come down, chat a little bit about Epic. We were talking before we came on air. You've already been with Epic how long now? Six months. And that time's just flying by. Oh, my gosh. Quickest six months of my life, but in the best way possible. Yeah. Yeah. So things at Epic, I mean, I hopped on your website uh, last night and this morning just to do a little work on what we're going to discuss this morning. Man, I'm surprised just when I think I know everything about Epic, I pop up your schedule of events and it's just one thing after another. Yeah. You people over at Epic are extremely busy. Absolutely. Go, go, go all the time. Yeah. Let's, if you don't mind, can we talk a little bit about a couple of events that I was able to attend and see firsthand what happened? Absolutely. I know there was an out-of-towner trip down to Nashville. Yeah. Came over to Epic. There were lots of people from the community uh, at Epic supporting the cause. Can you uh, elaborate a little bit on what what happened that day, how much was raised, and how many people got to go enjoy themselves? Yeah, so um, Host Homes is a program that we have. So instead of an individual living on their own in an apartment type setting that we own or in a group home, they're living with community members. So you could open your home to have a roommate, if you will, and have this shared living um, platform. And so what happens is they go on trips and that gives the provider uh, a break to do whatever they need to do. Um, but then just like you and I like to go on vacation, so do our individuals. And so one of the trips was an out of towner trip. Sometimes they do staycations. Um, just a couple weekends ago, it was Springfield, uh, Knights Action Park. Nice. But, just um, get out. Yeah, just to get out. Enjoy the water park a little bit. Absolutely. So one of the major trips, we do two a year. The first major one was Nashville, and that happened uh, a couple weeks ago. So for $500, all inclusive. That's the, the travel, the hotel, the food, the entertainment. The only thing they have to pay for is their um, souvenirs if they want souvenirs. Um, and and so they earn a paycheck just like you and I, but they couldn't afford the type of vacation that Nashville would be on their own. So we have to offset those costs. So one of them is the annual host homes raffle. That's awesome. Yeah. So I bet my buddy Mark, shot, call out Cam <laughs> to Mark, my buddy overrun the Epicasso program at Epic. I, uh, I wonder if you got on a bowl. If you did, I need some video highlights of that action. Uh, Mark over at Epic. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about Epicasso coming up. Yeah, we still got to get you your cups, right? Or did you I have them. Okay, I perfect. have them. I drink. Perfect. So Mark uh, made me some coffee cups, and I drink coffee out of it probably perfect. almost every single morning. Awesome. Too much uh, <laughs> coffee. So when I was there, a couple things that stood out to me yeah. was the uh, how happy all of the full-time staff is to put this on for the rest of the employees. Yeah. And I love how the there were certain tables I couldn't put my raffle tickets on. It was just for employees, paid days off. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that ticket canister was flowing over. Yeah, not only is the community involved, but our employees are involved as well. They, they give wholeheartedly with their time, talent, and treasure as well. That's so. what I love. It's, it's just a very, very positive, supportive place, yeah. and everyone is super happy. If you go to Epic, uh, located off, uh, right off Allen Road, off yep. Industrial. Town Line. Town Line mm -hmm. Road. In that industrial area. Yep. Yeah, right off the corner there. Uh, Epic is set back, large building. Very large, two and a half football fields long. Yeah. If you stop in there and see anybody, uh, you will definitely get a hug for the day. So. Oh, yeah, hugs, high fives, and... Um, Actually, next week, it's going to be a little crazy because uh, it's our United Way week. So we are a United Way agency, and we also participate as a pace setter. So not only are we receiving grants from United Way, but we are donating to United Way as well. So we've got a whole week of fun stuff planned from dress-up days to bake sales, bags tournaments, you name it. We're going to tournaments. Is this open to anybody? Sure. $10 for a tournament. We'll get you in. Count me in. What day is this? Uh, I'll have to get that scheduled right. for you, but we'll, we'll get you in next week. All right. You got to make it to the, to the finals, though, for in order for it to count. Uh, do you have a bag partner yet? I don't. You want to be partners? Sure, let's go. All right. All right. We're calling out Eric. <laughs> Eric, we want a piece of you and anybody else at Epic. Uh, you want to take Ashley and I on? Bring it. We'll raise some money for... Uh, yeah, United Way. Right? Absolutely. So, Absolutely. So back to Nashville. Everyone yeah. got to go down there for a couple days. What yeah. are the people that were able to go to Nashville coming back and saying about it? Oh, barbecue. 
number yeah. one. I mean, we love food. They love food. They loved the barbecue. Um, but they just got to go experience something different. Nashville is nothing like Peoria, Illinois. Um, so it was great to see them explore and, and learn new things and experience new things. So they loved the barbecue. They loved the, the live music. Yeah. So it was a great time. Nashville's a good time. You can yeah. walk down there on the street. Now, you mentioned Churchill Downs. This has me very intrigued yeah. with horses and gambling, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, oh, they anything with gambling in the casino is like the number one vacation they want to go on for sure. So this is probably sold out. Absolutely. Uh, and what type of fundraisers do you plan on doing to help create the revenue to send these folks up? It was up just to the Host Homes Raffle. The wow. Host Homes Raffle tries to offset the cost for all of the vacations that our individuals do. This makes sense. There were a ton of people there. A lot of support that day. A lot of good people over at Epic. Our yeah. friend Ashley's in town. We just recapped a little bit about the out-of-towners out trip. Now listen, if you want to follow Epic and learn a little bit more and uh, pay attention to what's going on or coming up, hit them up on, they're on all sorts of social media platforms. Ashley, you want to give it a shout out yeah, on where sure. you are? Um, we're on LinkedIn, so it's going to be more of our professional site. You'll see some of our hiring things like that. Um, but Facebook is our number one. That's where we get the most activities. We've got almost 3,000 followers, which is great for a small nonprofit like us. Yeah. We're posting every day, but that's also linked to our Instagram and our Twitter. So really across any platform that you're on, you can see what Epic's up to. If you need a good smile halfway through your day, just pull up Epic on Facebook or any uh, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, and you'll get a good smile. Speaking of the hiring campaign, you have yeah. that still going on, correct? And Absolutely. I noticed Epic is on some buses around town, so yeah. you want to share a little bit about what's going on there? Yeah, absolutely. We have three rotating um, signs that are on our bus boards, if you will, instead of billboards, they're bus boards, yeah. uh, with CityLink. And that's also on our social media, Instagram, Twitter. There's a video that we have on there um, of our friend Eric. And we're really just getting the word out that Epic is a great place to work. Be Epic in everything you do, whether that's an employee or an individual, volunteer, board member, you name it, be Epic. And so uh, we've got about 60 positions open. We're looking for a director of nursing, an LPN, program specialists. Um, direct support are really our number one. We've got about 60 positions open in our direct support. That's a staff member who's dealing directly with the individual. Feeding, clothing, um, you know, support in their job, however they need support. Um, we were 24 hours. So and You said there's about 60 direct support positions available. Is yeah, that there's, correct? A, there's about 60. So um, it doesn't take someone who has experience with someone with special needs. It just takes someone who's committed and, and really cares. Um, think about it. If you went on your day to day and needed help with everything and you had a rotating face every day, how would that make you feel? Yeah. yeah. So having that comfort of having someone in that position who is going to be there for a while is really important to us. And on average, our support people stay with us about seven years. So we do have some longevity. It's unbelievable. I know a uh, gentleman I hired, he had a support person yeah. come out and he was planning on retiring, and he did. I heard he officially did. He finally officially retired. Officially did, yeah. Like three years ago, he said he was retiring. Yep. He nope. just got he it done. He huh? officially, yeah, it's in the books now. He's officially retiring. Well, good for him, Mr. Russell. Mm -hmm. So, listen, hey, if you're out there and you're thinking about maybe wanting to donate some time, give back to the community, perhaps you have that child coming out of college or home for the summer, or maybe over the holidays, just to go in and assist or help out, maybe yeah. donate some time. Uh, reach out to our friends at Epic with resumes and cover letters. How do they get this information over to the right person at Yeah, Epic? absolutely. Our website's the best vessel. It's www.epicci.org. And we have a apply now button that you can just apply now and send it right over. Or you can actually look and see through some of the positions that are available. All right, we'll see if Mike can get that link up uh, yeah. on the show. So again, click on that link. Uh, and that'll direct you over on how to get your resume and cover letter over to our friend Ashley at Epic. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about what I do best, and that's dining. Yes. I love food. July 19th, you're going over to uh, Hy-V. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The Market Tomorrow. Grill all day, 6 a.m. to 10. Yep, at the Grand Prairie location only. Yep. Um, so it's over... Um, you know, by Grand Prairie Mall. So their market grill 
all day from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. You sh tell them that you're there for Epic, show them the flyer, get on social media, and 10% of your bill will be donated to Epic. How awesome is yeah. that? And we're working on, um, not only do we have volunteers for us, but we have our individuals volunteer in the community as well. Um, they love to give back. And so we're going to get some, some individuals there to bust the table. So you might get in a time where we, you can meet some new friends. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't share food, so I'll order an appetizer and just set off to the side. Are you, what time are you going for breakfast, lunch, or dinner? I have rotary on Thursdays, so I'm going to try to do breakfast. I got you. Good mm -hmm. call. Breakfast, yeah. you can never go wrong. No. So, <laughs> So again, our friends at Epic will be over at High V uh, Market Grill up by uh, the Grand Prairie, Grand Prairie mm -hmm. Mall there. Dine to no donate tomorrow, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Make sure you present the flyer pulled up on social media. Show your uh, waiter or waitress, and that way part of the proceeds get back to Epic. Yeah, and the great thing is is uh, you don't have time to sit. Call ahead, uh, tell them you're ordering for Epic, and they'll have it curbside pickup for you. Oh boy, with the wife gone, Dinner's I know what I'm doing of. for dinner, yeah. <laughs> lunch, and breakfast tomorrow. Hope the wife's not tuning in. We're not eating out every night you're gone. They've, got, they've got healthy food there. You could, oh, yeah. They've got options, yeah. They've got sushi. Uh, they have sushi there? They have, they have sushi. Holy smokes. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll definitely Sushi's be there. The and then the it. Oriental salad is one of my favorites out there. There you go. It's a pretty uh, cozy little place to grab a bite to eat, yeah. too. Yeah. It's pretty and great nice. drinks. They've got great drinks. So after hours, go to happy hour. Just look, everybody. <laughs> Call in sick tomorrow. Bloody Mary start at 6 a.m. at Ivy. Just We're stay there all day. all day. All day. If you need a nap, lay down in the booth, and we'll wake you up for lunch. Yeah. Uh, so that's just the the next thing coming up, July 19th. Then on August 3rd, you have night at the ballpark down with the Peoria Chiefs, yeah. 6 p.m. Absolutely. Again, just trying to incorporate our individuals in the community, and they love baseball just as much as you and I, maybe even more so. Jason, so, Jason Mott's a buddy of mine. Yep, he's, uh, he's just a good guy. Awesome. Gives back to the community. They just did an allergy-free peanut yep, night. They do that at least twice a year. Which is huge for me. And I asked him, I said, hey, what do you do there? And they literally go in, hose everything down, wipe everything down, and yep. there are no peanuts. Uh, and it was packed there the other yep. night with that. So congrats Absolutely. to the Chiefs on thinking outside the box yeah. a little bit and supporting Epic. Yeah, and so they're a, um, a disabled-friendly park. So they have no restrictions. So we don't have any issue with any of our individuals seeing a game there. Um, there's no seating issues. There's no uh, bathroom issues. It's, it's totally disabled friendly. So it's it's great for us to be there. We're going to do some fun things with Homer because um, luckily he'll be back by then. I don't know if he heard yesterday. What happened? He got suspended from a game. <laughs> so we were a little nervous. We were One a little nervous. One more reason I like Homer. <laughs> Here's the question. Why did he get suspended? Or He, he squirted an ump with a squirt gun on splash day. Uh, well, Homer, that'll get you put in the doghouse every time. Yeah, but we, we were nervous for a minute, but um, he's only suspended one game. But he'll be, he'll be there for our game. Okay. And uh, we're getting group discounted tickets. The, again, Chiefs are great, so they're discounting tickets for us. If you get your tickets through Epic, uh, they're only $13. Dugout seats. Yeah. Those are great seats. And not only do you get a great price on a ticket to a quality ballpark uh, team, the Chiefs are playing really well this year. Uh Part of the 13 bucks comes back to Epic yep. as well, correct? Absolutely. It's definitely a fundraiser for us, for sure. And just an awareness night, just to get people out there and, and interacting with someone with a disability. Because on a day-to-day -day basis, you may not have that opportunity. And so we're going to give it to you. Well, I'll be there August 3rd. I'll put it in my calendar. Yep. I hope to see a lot of my friends and family down there. I think so, it's firework night, too. They put on a great show with oh fireworks. Oh, my gosh. The fireworks, I mean, it's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. It's Fantastic. unbelievable. If you... I'm. If you've yet to get down to the Chiefs game and check out the fireworks show, get out of your cave, come on down to the game. Uh, it's August 3rd, 6 p.m., Cedar Rapids, uh, $13 dugout seats. You can purchase through Epic. If you hop online, again, it's epicci.org. And uh, if you call out there, you could ask for Carmen McCarthy. Mm -hmm. uh, she will be able to help you out with those tickets. Absolutely. Hey, again, it's on Facebook, too, so head on Facebook. We've gotten... An event there, so. Solid. Yeah. Make sure, I'll make sure I get on there and say I'm going. There you go. Uh, host homes trip on August 10th down to Lake Williamson. Sounds yep. like we got some skiers, jet skiers. Campers, you name it. Yeah. Well, they hopefully love it. you have a good night. Are you going camping? I'm not, I'm not going. Are you a camper type? I'm not really a camper. Um, you know, we talked to Mark before. He calls it glamping. Yeah. So, uh, in a trailer. But no, uh, they, it's a great cabin down there. They're not staying in tents or anything. It's, it's definitely a, a high-end 
uh, resort type, uh, I mean, not hotel, but resort type yeah. lake, and they love it. They have a blast out there, fishing, hiking, you name it. They love it. I love how, I love how you guys take care of your own. That's impressive. Yeah, really it's, impressive. It's really any any trip that they want to do, we'll make happen. If other than, I mean, Disney World would be a little tough, but um, <laughs> if they want to have an interest in something, we will make sure that that we try to make it happen to the best of our abilities. We're not picking out these trips just because we want to go on them. You know, right. it's, it's really because they want to go. I know when I was talking to my friend Mark, again, I know I talk about Mark a lot, uh, runs the Epicasso program. He's a big fisherman. Mm -hmm. And last time I spoke to him, he was super excited to go fishing. So mm -hmm. I just love how you bring joy to the yeah. those that help you as well. Yeah, and they're at uh, Camp Big Sky quite a lot too. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, August 11th, uh, Epicasso going on. Now this is big. This, this you is were huge. telling me you've been invited to this. Uh, it is Epicasso, August 11th, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, lots of sale of art. Uh, some of the people like Mark receive yeah. a commission to help offset the cost of living. Do you want to elaborate Absolutely. a little bit on that? Yeah, so we're excited to announce that we are going to be participating in Ignite Peoria this year. Ignite Peoria is one of the biggest uh, free art exhibits in the area. So it's free to attend. So you can go s try your hand at some types of art. We will have a craft out that you can play with at our table. But it's a great way to experience the talent that we have in this area and to get people interested in art. There may be a type of art that you haven't experienced before and you get to see it firsthand. Not only is it physical art like we do with painting and pottery, but there's also singing and dancing and robots and STEM. It's a full day of, of activity and Epicasso is going to be there. That's When I saw all of these different events going on that day, I'm like, holy smokes. The thing with the art program, so Mark, mm -hmm. uh, I think he was in the finals to get on a billboard here in yeah, Peoria. Yeah, we entered him into the art pop contest. So um, you take original piece of art, and we entered it on his behalf. Um, and he did not get selected. Out of 180 uh, entries, they only got to pick um, six or seven. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, and I know that piece that did not make the billboard was at... Uh, the program over the winter, the Bon Appetit. Yep, and we raffled it off. One of, I think one of my friends ended up winning that. Awesome, great. It's Kevin Kokinda, oh, I yep. believe, yep. Uh, ended up winning that. So awesome. August 11th, uh, this is going to be at the Peoria Civic Center downtown here, uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Make sure if you're into art, this is legit art. Oh, it's, it's, it's huge. Some glass-blown pieces, uh, mantles, uh, you name it, the, the options are endless. So if you're into art or just want to get out and walk around, maybe see some people, learn a little bit more about Epic, I assume everyone will be down there to shake yep. some hands and be available. Yep. It's a long day, so we're going to have lots of shifts and lots of people there. So, Well, if you need any help and if I'm home, I'll be down there. I'll be happy to help out. Sounds great. I need to buy another piece from, uh, from Mark. Uh, my daughter, Lola, is actually getting to go in and check out Epicasso at Epic. Mark gave me a tour when I was out there for that uh, fundraising event yeah. to send him on vacations. And it's pretty awesome, yeah. all of the materials that they have. And you want to talk about pride. Mark has so much pride. When you enter that room, he is he's boasting uh, with energy. And He had a new big piece done the other day. And before it was even dry, before he was out of his smock, he was up at our offices saying, look what I just finished. Look what I just finished. Because it's a process. And they're proud of it when they're done. Yeah. And... Mm -hmm. I mean, sports memorabilia, uh, logos that they put in there. Speaking of which, Mark, hopefully my uh, Cubs design will be done here shortly. Cubbies are leading the NL Central. Not to get on that tangent. Yeah, talk uh, to one of our members. He'll tell you who's lost, who's won, what their scores are, how they rank. Are you a Cub or a Cardinal fan? Do you watch baseball? I do. Um, I was, my whole family's from Wisconsin, so I like Wisconsin teams, but I am a Cubs fan. I've You're seen Cub more fan. Cubs fans, but if the Cubs play the Brewers, I'm a little torn. You're torn? I'm torn. I tell you what, that Brewer ballpark is pretty awesome oh. up there. Our friend Ashley with Epic is in-house. If you're tuning in a little late, make sure you hop back to the front of the show. Touched a little bit on the fundraiser that was uh, funding the trip down to Nashville for some of our friends at Epic. Also, they have Churchill Downs coming up. 
Maybe I'll slide you a tour. Are you going up there? Oh, I wish. I want to go so bad. Well, I give Eric money, but I don't trust him to get that bed in. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll get a wager in. Uh, but get back to the front of the show. We touched a little bit on uh, Epic is still looking to hire roughly 60 direct support uh, individuals, also looking for director of uh, nursing and mm -hmm. LPNs. So lots of opportunity over at Epic. If you're interested, check out their website, epicci.org. Uh, July 19th, tomorrow, dine and donate at the Grand Prairie High V Market Grill, 6 a.m. to 10. August 3rd, we have night at the ballpark, 6 p.m. Make sure uh, you reach out to Epic to purchase your tickets there so the funds get back to Epic. Only 13 bucks for a dugout seat, beat it. and Homer will be out of the doghouse. He should be <laughs> back, barring he doesn't have any more issues with the umpires. Uh, August 11th, you have Epicasso at the Peoria Civic Center, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can go down, take a look at some art, purchase some art, check out dancers, art, artists, all, all sorts of, it, of things. Yeah. Get immersed. And we were just talking before we came on, you mentioned something about a gentleman named Josh Blue. You want yeah. to talk about him? Yeah, so every Friday we try to do a Feel Good Friday. So it's not just supporting Epic, but it's supporting all adults with disabilities. Um, a lot of the times you hear a lot when they're younger, but then they kind of fade away when they're older. And they need just as much support, if not more. Um, and so we really try to get the community just awareness of people with disabilities. And so Josh Blue is a comedian. He's famous. He was on Last Comic Standing. He happens to be here at the Jukebox Comedy Club this weekend. Um, but one of his bits is one of our Feel Good Fridays scheduled for this for this week. So, so that'll be on Facebook, correct? That'll be on our Facebook. Facebook, yep. Instagram. So make sure you get over. It's Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday today, today yeah. Today is Wednesday. Usually right. we do this on Fridays. <laughs> I got to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this morning I was all out of sorts. That's a whole other story. Uh, so check it out on Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. If you've yet to uh, follow Epic on Facebook and Instagram, LinkedIn, make sure you get over there and check out and connect with our friends. Uh, Josh Blue will be performing at the... Jukebox Comedy Jukebox Club Jukebox Comedy weekend. Club, and he has cerebral palsy, correct? He does, yep. Just like my good friend Rocco, if I may... Uh, Rocco, we were able to get him over to the Monmouth area. Yeah. Rocco has cerebral palsy, and uh, Front Nine Foundation adopted him, and he got to go over and spend some time with Alex Tanney. Oh, nice. Uh, who just signed with the, he was with the Titans, he's with the Giants now, back up to Eli. Yep. Uh, ben, the starting center. Thanks, Ben. You are awesome. Uh, Bo, he is the long snapper for the Titans. He spent a lot of time with Rocco, just making Rocco's day. That's and, awesome. you know, the reason I bring that up is you mentioned how, you know, Rocco's five. So we're bringing a lot of attention to him. Yep. And you're talking about further on down the road. And I haven't really even started to spin yeah. my wheel on how we're going to continue 10, 15 years with Rocco. Yeah. Um, what most people don't realize is once they're out of school, what, what happens? There, there's not that, that thinking behind that. Um, so that's where Epic steps in. They come and do their classes with us. They earn, learn job skills. They get certified in something. Um, they live in our houses. Um, so that's really what happens with Epic. We take them on after high school. Nice. Yeah, you, you have me thinking much more forward thinking now, and I'm kind of panicking a little bit on how we'll continue to help Rocco because Rocco is just getting ready to start first grade. Yep. So we're, we're trying to coordinate things to help boost his confidence going yeah. into grade school. Absolutely. It's, a, yeah. it's a new and terrifying thing. So Well, and I think graduating high school into college, mm -hmm. hopefully kids are a little bit nicer then. And I say that, I mean, I was, you know, kids are kids, right? Yeah. Uh, but hopefully it'll be a little less scary then. But, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll have to figure out how we continue that support for yeah. Rocco. So, again, well, one, one of the just, things we have is um, – you know, the families of our individuals. So we're hosting in September a family night so all the families can get together, have some fun, network, talk about things. So even though they're adults, what struggles are they still still going through? So um, come and meet out some, meet some parents of other people with disabilities and, and just talk about how you work through things. And I think, you know, when you talk about going and visiting with people, some people get a little apprehensive. But one thing I'll say is I've been in those situations but when I go and I make myself do that, when I leave, I'm always like, 
I am so happy I did that, especially if it were involving my kids or my family. Yeah. To be able to talk to others that are walking the, in the same path I'm walking, maybe they're a little bit further ahead in the journey so I can learn a few things, maybe reduce some headaches, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then it's always just nice to have a friendly face yeah. to call. Absolutely. It's not a so scary place when you've got people to talk to. So. Yeah, and everyone's so welcoming over at Epic off Town Line Road, uh, just off Allen over by Budweiser down Town Line right at the curb. Uh, so make sure you uh, get it, fo start following if you haven't yet on social media, on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Follow our friends at Epic. Uh, EpicCI.org is where you can go. You can read a little bit more about their mission and vision as well as all the calendar of events. Very clean website you guys Thanks. got rolling there, Thanks. Ashley. Yeah, we've so, got a great partnership with Central States Media. They build it out for us and we just plug and play. So I'm going to put you on the spot here. We, about, we have about three more minutes. Talk to me, uh, what's a couple things you've done over the summer that you've yeah. enjoyed? What do you got coming up in the winter? Oh my gosh, I haven't even thought that far. You haven't gotten no. that far. Um, let's see, this summer. Mm, uh, I just did the Make-A-Wish, I Spy a Wish. I'm on the board for Make-A-Wish. That's one of the things I do outside of my epic world. Awesome. Uh, so we just had um, like 30 teams of six come out and hop in a car and go do uh, a scavenger hunt for yes. to grant wishes for Make-A-Wish. So that was last weekend. We've participated in that in yep. the past. I've yep. had friends do it. And everyone, I think, dresses up for this some as well. Some people do. Some people don't. We give out shirts, so a lot of people will just wear the shirt that we give. Yeah. Um, but one of my good friends is a nurse in surgery at Unity Point Health Proctor, and she grabs her team, her tribe of, of employees, and they came out as superheroes this year. That's so awesome. that was a, that was an absolute blast. So you get to meet Wish Kids and, and hear their stories and all that kind of fun stuff. How do, so it sounds like a very successful evening. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. What's a couple things going on over uh, with that program? Um, well, that one is from make for Make a Wish. Um, we are locally here in the, in the area. We span all the way to Monmouth and Galesburg. Um, and I spy a wish. Our friend Stacy Borjo, who is yeah. is in Peoria life quite often, she actually came up with the idea several years ago, and we just had our seventh annual event. So it's always in July. It's always on the same weekend um, at Uftering Auto House. They they take care of us. Let us set up rain or shine. Um, and we try to grant four wishes. On average, it's about $10,000 to grant a wish. And I think before all the money was counted, we raised three this weekend, so. That's great, yeah. that's great. I love how you work with a very classy organization and you're a very classy lady. And you, <laughs> you, you. don't have much free time, I would I imagine. Don't. I don't. And for you to go help another organization, that speaks volumes. That's yeah. the type of people you'll run into over at Epic. It's my good friend, Ashley. Thanks for carving out some time. I know Absolutely. I gave you about a 48-minute window hey, we're of all coming good. on, so I appreciate you taking okay. the time. All of our friends, uh, all my friends out at Epic, have a great weekend. Can't wait to see all of you. I'll be stopping in at hy V tomorrow night. You can grab and go. Take the meal if you don't have time to sit in and eat. August 3rd, I'll see everyone at the ballpark. Hopefully Homer will not be getting tackled. <laughs> August 11th, at Picasso. I got to go get some stuff. My daughter will be down there. Absolutely. I'll see you down there. I'll be there. My yep. name's Doug Pinter on Daily Energy. My friend Ashley from Epic, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Take care. Bye. PeoriaLife.com.